Hey friends, attorney Kyle Newman here to break down Uber and Lyft accidents here in New York City. So let's dive in. Between Uber and Lyft, New Yorkers take on average nearly half a million rides every day, far and away exceeding yellow taxis in New York City. With so many Ubers and Lyfts zipping around New York, there are of course going to be accidents, especially with us crazy New York drivers. And as a New York City catastrophic injury attorney for my Bronx personal injury law firm, we see a lot of these cases all of the time. So I wanted to break down what to expect from an Uber or a Lyft accident and how, if you were involved in one of these accidents, to make out the best case. But before I do any of this, make sure to click on that like button, slam on the subscribe to follow our journey bringing New Yorkers the best tips and insights after an accident. All right, so the influx of ride shares like Uber and Lyft is at an all-time high, dominating the streets of New York, so much so that the city announced a cap on the amount of ride shares in New York City that are new drivers for these companies. And look, before I get into the specifics, I'll tell anyone out there that if you had to get into an accident with any type of motor vehicle or transportation service, Uber and Lyft are probably the best, with yellow taxis being the absolute worst, mainly because of their insurance company, American Transit in New York, which I'll do a separate video on. The reason why Uber and Lyft are probably the best is because they're required to carry commercial vehicle policies, which carry a much higher limit for an accident. But there's some caveats that I wanna jump into to break down the differences in the insurance coverage for Ubers and Lyfts. So in many ways, Uber and Lyft crashes are the same as any car accident. They involve anything from a single car or pedestrian accident to a catastrophic multi-vehicle collision. And look, for the most part, Uber and Lyft drivers take their jobs really seriously. It's a tough gig, and many of my clients here in the Bronx drive Uber to support their families. And throughout the pandemic, these people in many ways have kept the city going and they deserve a ton of gratitude. But with all these rides taking place, there's bound to be some bad drivers out there, people that are reckless and negligent and put the health and safety of others at risk. And when there's a motor vehicle accident and someone is seriously injured, that culpable party deserves to be held responsible. So first up, if you're a passenger or even a driver in an Uber or Lyft that's hurt in an accident, your medical bills and your lost wages incurred as a result of the accident up to $50,000 is going to be paid through no fault insurance, which is the insurance of the car that you were in at the time of the accident, who's going to pay out these expenses no matter who's to blame. And if you suffered a serious injury as a result of something an Uber or Lyft driver did, you can bring a lawsuit in civil court in New York for damages stemming from the accident, for things like medical bills, your lost earnings, and your pain and suffering. So the question becomes, how much can I possibly get from an Uber or Lyft accident? And the answer is going to be very different based on whether the Uber driver is waiting for a fare at the time of the accident or if they've actually picked one up and are on trip when the collision occurred. So as you can imagine, a big part of an Uber or Lyft driver's day is being actively logged onto the app, driving around waiting for ride requests by people like you or me. And at these times, they're technically on the clock, but are not actually engaged in the act of driving an actual person yet. And in that instance, the insurance coverage is actually going to be a lot less than when a person is picked up and the trip begins. So in that instance, when an Uber or Lyft driver is driving around waiting to pick someone up, the liability insurance is typically going to cover up to $75,000 per person and up to $150,000 per accident in bodily insurance, meaning the amount a person can recover for personal injuries and they'll have an additional $25,000 per accident for property damage. Now on the flip side, these insurance policy numbers go up substantially when an Uber or Lyft driver is on trip with someone in the actual car. And when that happens, the insurance policy goes up to 1.25 million for bodily injury or property damage. The good news is that in New York City, ride shares are regulated by the New York City Taxi and Limousine Commission. That's why you see with Uber and Lyfts, they still have that TLC on their license plate. And they're all required to have commercial insurance policies as opposed to 
personal policies through companies like Geico, Allstate, or State Farm. So at the end of the day, if you're involved in an accident as either a driver or a passenger with an Uber or Lyft, here's what I want you to do. Number one is to report the accident. Call 911 from the scene and wait for police. And a tip is that in New York, the no-fault law requires you to report your accident and your injuries within 30 days to your insurance company, so don't wait on that. Number two is to take photos and videos at the scene if you're able to. Number three is to seek medical attention right away, even if your injuries seem minor, because who knows what you're gonna feel like the next morning. Number four, don't make any incriminating statements at the scene and never give a recorded statement to anyone, including the insurance company. Number five on my list is not to sign anything or accept any offers from the insurance company until you speak to an attorney. All right, that about wraps it up. If you haven't done it so already, tap on that like button for me. And if you made it this far, you might as well subscribe to our channel. Look, if you have any questions about an Uber or Lyft accident in New York City, reach out to my office, give us a call, stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you next time.